Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are in episode 94. And in this episode, we started by creating two new utility functions. The first one being determine forgot form content, which will determine which form to display depending on the step. And the second being determine forgot button, which will determine which button to display depending on the step as well. Then we create the content for the third forgot password form by creating a new component and importing it into the determine forgot form content. Then we wrap up the episode by creating a new button for the forgot form three. As always, I'm Ethan on a coder and let's hop straight into development now obviously this next button didn't do anything because we don't have a next section so that's what we're going to go ahead and work on next so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come back into our front end and i'm going to make a new folder inside forgot password and i'm going to call this utils and we're going to have a new file i'm just going to call this forgot password utils dot tsx i believe because we're going to return stuff so first we're going to import our forgot form one from we're going to say dot slash forgot forms i guess we would say dot dot slash component slash forgot forms and we're going to say slash forgot form one we'll also import our forgot form two forgot form two all right, and then we're going to first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that we have word wrap on because we're going to export const and we're going to say determine uh, determine forgot form content equal to and this is going to take in a step, which is a number. It's going to take in a set credential method, which takes in a value of string is going to take in and return a void uh, whoops let's do this like that and it returns a void we need an air boolean and we need an email of string and we need a phone of string and this is going to return a jsx dot element like that and then we have our function. So now we're going to have a switch case. And this is going to switch on step. We're going to have a case one, which is going to return forgot. Whoops. For got form one with set credential equal to obviously set credential and our error equal to and then we're going to have a case two case two is going to return forgot form two with an email equal the email and a phone equal to phone i wanted this password reset to be a closed system that's kind of why i didn't do a uh, slice i might go back on that our case three is not going to anything. Uh, and then finally, we'll go ahead and just return if nothing happens this. So now we can go ahead and clean up the content inside the forgot modal. Uh, so back inside forgot password modal, we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to say determine forgot form content. Now, of course, this is going to take some data. So I'm going to do this and this needs a step so go ahead and throw in step this needs the uh, set credential this needs error this needs email this would be user info dot email and user info dot phone so now our information should look the same um, except we're in step three now so it's not showing anything but if i say unknown coder this looks good then we can send the password, all that good stuff. So this is working as expected. Now let's also do one for the buttons just to clean things up a little bit. So once again, inside of our utilities, password utils, we'll make another one. Export const. We'll call this determine uh, forgot uh, button. And this is going to take in some things as well. Obviously the step again. So step, we're going to need a credential, 
which is a string. We're going to need a search user method, which will return a void. We need a cancel method, which is also going to be a void function. And then finally, we need a send code, which is a void function. And this is not as neat as it was whenever we used uh, whatever it's called Redux. That's why I might end up changing it, uh, but we'll see. Switch on the step again. So case one is going to return a forgot uh, button one, I believe. And this has a handle click on it called search user. It's going to have a value on it called credential. All right. Our case two, we're going to return. This is going to be a forgot button two, which has an on cancel equal to I don't think this one auto imported will deal with it. Send a code. My goodness. Code equal to send a code. And this did not import. Let's go ahead and import that. That's fine. We'll need a case three eventually. For now, it's just going to return nothing. And then at the bottom, for a default case, we'll just return that and save that's good to go and now we can go ahead and throw this in to our route password modal so now instead of it being this guy we'll go ahead and say uh determine and then forgot button and that imports it so this needs step again it needs credential it needs search user it needs toggle modal and it needs send reset. And of course, these are gonna get slightly longer as we go, but this looks a lot better than having all those question marks and everything. And we should already uh, switch to step three. I, I was gonna use a use effect, but I don't love that. Uh, but if we go ahead and walk through the step again, so if we say, let's search for unknown coder to make sure it's working, that's good. Go ahead and send that, we hit next sent it put us as part three because that's why it's white we come back in here and reload the list real quick see we have two emails so that's all working fine so now what we need to go and do is set up our next form so we can go and get rid of these buttons go up in here go to our forgot forms make a new file call this forgot form three.tsx just like so and we'll go ahead and get rid of this and we we probably will also oh no we, we already have the css i'm going crazy i'm going to keep this open it's going to be useful and we'll import react from react and we'll go ahead and import we need a validated uh text input so text input then we also need our forgot css so dot forgot form dot CSS. And we also need to import our dot dot slash all the way out to assets slash global CSS. Uh, global dot CSS. All right. We need an interface forgot form three. And we'll call this props. And this is going to have an update code. And this is going to take in a value colon number and return a void. And do, do, do that. And then this is also going to take a valid, which will be a Boolean. All right. And let's go ahead and export const and forgot form three and this is a react dot function component which takes in the forgot well maybe forgot form three props equal to we'll break them apart update code invalid 
And then here we'll return our div. Div class name. And I think I've been using forgot dash form dash container. But I don't remember. I need to take a peek at that. Let's see. Go into our forgot form CSS. Yes. Okay. So before we get too crazy here, I do want to go ahead and set up a handle change. Const handle change. So it's going to be connected to our validated input. E react dot change event, which is an HTML input element event. And what this is going to do is go ahead and say update code. And we're going to say plus sign. We're going to turn the value of this from a string to a number. E dot target dot value. Now, of course, if they put it in something that's not a number, that'll probably break. It's not something I really accounted for. So probably want to account for that, but whatever. I have an H1. The class name on it equal to forgot form header. And we say we sent you a code. And then we'll have a P tag. A class name equal to this is going to say um, forgot dash form dash text in color of gray. Check your email for uh, to get your confirmation code if you need to request a new one for a new code. Go back and reselect a confirmation. All right. And then we need our validated text input. So go ahead and say a uh, validated text input and valid will equal to a valid. We'll have our name equal to code. We're going to have a label equal to enter a string, enter your code, and then a change value equal to handle change. And that should be good. So this is all of this. We don't have to do any CSS. Going to go ahead and update some code for us. Let's go ahead and first, we'll go ahead and do the utility first and then move on from there. So let's go ahead and go into our utils. It will import and put it down here. I don't know whether buttons are above. Import or got form three. And now instead of returning this, we'll go ahead and return forgot form three. Now this needs a couple of things. I already forget what they are, but this is going to need a update code and a, what's the other one? Uh, valid, I think. Um, I don't remember if I think that I just use error for valid. Um, actually, no, I add a valid. I'm just dumb. So we'll go ahead and say valid uh, is a Boolean. It will also add an update code, which will take in a value of number and return a void. And we'll go ahead and throw update code here and a valid in there and save. Now we can go ahead and set this up inside of the password modal. So firstly, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll set up a new state. And this is going to say um, const. And this will be user input code. So this is a code that the user has input. So set user input code equal to use state uh, number and this will just be zero for the time being. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is come down here. I'm a little bit concerned that change credentials never used, but I'm sure it's fine. Everything's working. Actually, I guess I'll put it just up here. Uh, this is where kind of like my change event stuff is. 
So say const change user input code equal to value number. And we'll go ahead and say set user input code. And we'll pass in that value. And now we can go ahead and come down here. Next, we're going to go ahead and say error. And we're going to say change user input code. So that's going to let us put in data there. So if we come back in here, we can go ahead and say unknown coder like so. Hit next. I misspelled this. And hit next. Send the email. Uh, this should be not error, I think, but we can fix that. But we come in here, we can put in our passcode, copy, and paste our passcode. Kind of do whatever we need. Uh, and yeah, I think this should be not error. So let's go ahead and try that out, actually. So if we come back into here, say not error. It looks like this one's also supposed to be not error, but maybe it's not. Maybe I already fixed that or I swapped these, but now it's fine. Looks good. So that means next up is actually sending this to the back end and all that good stuff. So what we'll go ahead and do is come back into our code and we'll make a new file and folder. So I probably should have grouped the buttons together, but it is what it is. Make a new folder. We'll say forgot button three. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted and rename this to three and we'll make a new file dot button three dot tsx and a new file or got button three dot css cool so and I spelled this wrong I am struggling tonight, I'm getting pretty tired, but I must grind on. And we'll go ahead and import our React from React. We're going to go ahead and import our modal button uh, from there. We'll go ahead and import our dot slash or got button three dot CSS and we'll go ahead and make an interface call it forgot button three props it's going to take an active and this will be boolean it's going to take in a check code which is a boolean function for a function returns void, we're going to turn a back function that also returns void. All right, so we're going to head export const forgot form three and actually it's forgot uh, button three, but I actually called it forgot button three which is a react dot function component, but in our forgot button, I'm going to say forgot. Oh, that's fine. Forgot button three props and equal to, and we'll go ahead and say active, uh, check code and back. Now, depending on if we are active or not, we're basically going to show two different modal buttons. So return, we still need our div, the class name equal to forgot dash uh, button dash three. Maybe. And in here, we're going to say active question mark. If we're active, we're going to have a modal button of and we're going to say active is equal to true we're going to have a height equal to 50 we're going to have a font color equal to white 
this actually has to be in quotes font color of white a background color of black we're going to have a font size equal to 17 a font weight equal to 700 a hover background of r of zero g of zero b of zero and a of 0.9 and then we'll have an on click which will equal to and this will be equal to check code and let's go ahead and do one of these whoops that and in here what we'll have is next all right then otherwise what we're gonna have is another modal button if we're not active we're going to have active equal to true we're going to have height equal to 50 we're going to have our font color equal to black this time we're going to have a background color equal to a light gray it's going to be um need this this a a uh, b8 c2 so light gray our border color or um, background color i messed up this should be uh border color so border color and this one should be background color will be white then we have our font size font size is going to be equal to 17 font weight will be equal to 600 Hover uh background is going to be um let's see r of zero g of zero b of zero and then an a of zero five or 0.05 finally our hover border is also an rgba r zero g zero b zero and a will be 0.3 a little bit darker gray are on click going to equal to back whoops back maybe and what we're gonna have here and let's do one of these and this is gonna say back cool so it'll go back and this should be a point oh that's not what i wanted point three awesome so that's our forgot three button and inside the css it's gonna be like one simple thing again so if we come back into here actually i forgot what i called it already forgot button three copy this and dot this and this is literally the same across all of these so i really should have shared this but again it's something that we can fix later 95 percent all right that's good unfortunately that's going to be it for today if you guys enjoyed please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button you'll know exactly when it comes out especially at that bell icon if you did enjoy the content today please sure leave a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.